Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> it's Friday. It is Friday before what? New Year's. What do we got going on today? Well, we're taking out the cruisers. And where are we going? We've got a long itinerary um, this weekend. We're gonna go first. Tonight we're heading to a dude ranch, one of my favorite little towns in Arizona called Wickenburg. And then tomorrow we're gonna head all the way to San Diego, San Diego, for a Zach Bryan concert. We're going to head all the way out to Palm Springs to celebrate New Year's with some riding friends. And then on New Year's Day, we head back to Las Vegas. We're gonna hit a cool landmark on the way home. Yeah, so we've got a lot in store, but we're traveling this time a little differently than we usually do because we are on pavement and have Big some cruisers. new have big cruisers and we have some new gadgets mm -hmm. and we're going to talk about those gadgets and it's kind of weird but i'm not on a pan america i got a bike from eagle rider which you will see shortly i'm super excited about this trip because this is going to be the first time that i am wearing the alpine stars tech 3 airbag it's an airbag vest it's super cool it as you can see it just goes under my jacket we're gonna crush a lot of miles. This is a safety thing to wear. Um, so I'm excited to see how comfortable it is, um, how long the battery lasts, um, all of these things, just trying it out. And what's nice about this one is it can be worn outside. It's got abrasion resistance, but I'm putting it under my jacket. You just gotta make sure you have a little bit of room in case it deploys. But yeah, so this trip, we're gonna be wearing these the whole time, see how long this battery lasts. Let's go. I have the Tech 5 on. This one's a little bit different from the one that Maggie has. It's meant to be worn under your outfit, your jacket, whatever that is. Uh, this one has a couple different riding modes, and this is the first time I've ever worn an airbag system. I'm excited because at the Alpine Stars event that we went to this year, we met with the Dakar guys, and they said there's two things that they never leave home without, their helmet and these airbag systems. So these are obviously a game changer when it comes to safety. It will record all the acceleration, the lean angle, like all kinds of analytics that you can use. They use to basically figure out when they should trip this thing. But so it's got a lot of data that you can record. And I think that's really interesting. And also another thing that I'm excited about is as we do these trips, this will record our whole trek and we can export a GPX file. So we'll see how that turns out. And we will be talking about these things a little bit more over the next couple of days. Driving through Wikia and through a recommendation from a friend. Zach. He's like, you gotta go to Dazos. It's the Chicago eatery. And we saw a big sign for sausage and hot dogs, so we made a stop. You can't miss it. Passing through Wikia from Vegas to Phoenix area. And uh, I was a little nervous, but I ordered the ghost pepper Philly cheesesteak, which could have be it could have been a huge mistake considering we're on motorcycles but it was delicious. It was really good, and we made some new friends over here. Yeah, come meet our friends. <laughs> this is Bonnie and Clyde. <laughs> they stole our hearts, <laughs> and they like hot dogs. So come give them a visit. <laughs> <laughs> Cowboy Resort in Wickenburg, Arizona. Well, we crushed 245 miles. I think that's what my thing said. I thought the airbag wasn't noticeable at all. The only time I noticed it was when we got back on the bikes after lunch and mine kept vibrating. Josh, the guy from the Two Lane Life guys, told us, he's the guy who films all that, he said that he got one of these jackets and it went off. And so the thing is, is that apparently they actually have, okay, wait, it went off because he still had it on and he like went to whip it off as it, or was it's it like whipping it on? Super fast. It super yeah, he fast was like whipping off. it off as, as he was taking his jacket off. But it turns out there is a firmware update so that that won't happen anymore. So we're good. So we're good. Okay. 
It was pretty funny when Justin tried to sell it to a guy who wasn't even wearing a helmet at the last stop. That's true. I didn't even think about the fact he wasn't wearing a helmet. And I was like, dude, these things are awesome. He's like, yeah, I'm 60 years old. I don't want to survive if I crash. So I was like, all right. That makes a lot of sense. Yep, yep. Can't argue with that. Good call, dude. Also, I don't know where my battery's at, but I'm pretty sure it's at like 94% still. So. Last I checked, mine was at 88, but I think because mine started at 94. It wasn't all the way charged when I put it on. So we're looking good. I'm not good. I'm not charging it. We gotta let it Just ride like, it out. We're gonna ride it out. We're gonna ride it out. One of the things you can do at this really awesome ranch is you can go horseback riding. So we're riding through Arizona. We're gonna drop down through Blythe, go through Glamis, which is kind of cool, we'll stop there. And then heading into San Diego to go do our... I like that last stretch. That was like a good chunk of nothing. Like just two lane Big cactus. Arizona back road. <laughs> Arizona back road, mm -hmm. really pretty. I am on a road glide, the road glide ultra to be exact which I got from Eagle Rider. Maggie and I both have an Eagle Rider membership now, which is super sweet. It gives us the ability to be able to try out different bikes. And when we travel around the country, we can pop in at any Eagle Rider and get a bike for the weekend or whatever. Uh, the backstory to me having this bike though, unfortunately my bike is actually in the shop right now. Something's up with the clutch. I might've burned it out doing sand things. ourselves in a sandy situation a very sandy situation where are we this is my first time here but this is the renowned glamis sand dunes and it is new year's weekend so it's hopping a lot of people here for sure do you want to come back yeah every we were riding along the road and it was super cool because all of the dirt bikes tossing up sand and everybody's got paddle tires and i've done dune riding but not out here and there's massive so i would definitely love to come back here weird to be on a cruiser coming through here <laughs> also notice a lot of people really like some dude brandon and they're trying to get him to go yeah i don't know where says, they want him to go but says let's go <laughs> brandon <laughs> so wh whoever you are brandon i hope you're having yeah. fun i hope you're going I hope you're going <laughs> <laughs> I'm not triggered. Are you triggered? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, Should not to go there. We you want to make a there. sand angel? <laughs> no. Of course, she wants to make sand angels. We got into sunny San Diego, and now we're checking into this hotel in the gas lamp, and it is pumping down here for New Year's, and there are cowboy boots everywhere. It's about to be time to go see Zach Bryan. Zach Bryan! Another cool thing, Justin tracked his ride on the vest. I did. The airbag vest, which was really cool, but it, and it had zones, We'll do like a screen grab of it, but it had zones of speed. Mm -hmm. It showed, what other things did it show? It was pretty cool. You could like- I guess you can download the altitude. I don't know, there's a couple oh, things okay, I gotta cool. dig in. It'll show you the altitude that you did, the speed, your average speeds. Now, let's go get ready for the concert. I'm excited! <laughs> up this morning waking up before it's getting nine kind of heavy on my shoulders tracking down some moments back in time i could have swore that i was in it down to every minute don't know what i was sipping but i felt like i was doing fine oh my 
Right, we're in the middle of nowhere. Absolutely no place to go to the bathroom, but here. In the middle of nowhere. <laughs> in the middle of nowhere. This We've got a really epic ride in through Joshua Tree. 29 Palms, Joshua Tree. Grab some food at Denny's. We're some friends. fancy. <laughs> And now we're at Roy's, which is this like random gas station in the middle of nowhere. It's pretty funky. We got, I got yelled at by him. Yeah, some dude over there. He yelled. He yelled at me, Crocodile Dundee. Last stop. Time to get boogie. Yeah. Boogie with it. Head on back to the home. This is the grand finale of me in the boat, or Brandon as we called him on this trip. I love the Road Glide Ultra, super fun bike. Tons of room for storing things. But yeah, Roy's is our last stop on this trip. And after that, I gotta turn this big boy back in to Eagle Rider. Thanks Eagle Rider for hooking up. What's yours at? Mine's at 57. That's Ooh. pretty good. And you never charged it? Yeah, never charged it. 57%. Um, what's also cool is, um, I think this one has a longer battery anyways. That one is supposed to have like 30 hours of battery, the one that you're wearing. And the one that I'm wearing is technically like 40. So. I'm still at 57, a little over half after four days of riding. It's pretty good. Not bad, not bad. For me, when it comes to doing any long road trips, I'm definitely gonna wear this thing. I'm really excited though about the off-road one that Alpine Stars is coming out with because I already wear a bionic, their bionic suit that basically has all the elbow pads and all that stuff built into it. And now they have one that's an airbag system. And another big thing I think for the public to know out there about these systems is that their algorithm, Alpine Stars algorithm in particular, has been developed for years now. And it's being developed by the guinea pigs, which are the car racers and all that. They were telling us stories about how the first editions of these things were like wearing a trash bag. They would dab their foot down and poof, the thing would go off. So there's been a lot of learning lessons and apparently Alpine Star's algorithm for these airbag systems is the best on the market. And there's gonna be some super sweet features that are on that off-road edition that we will go into once it comes out. We're gonna hopefully get one and we'll talk about it with you guys. Yeah, I think just we plan a lot of long road trips. This is something that I want to incorporate and have with me, but I am also really excited for the off-road version of this, especially because it sounds like there will be a women's version. Um, now that there's more women getting into the sport, we do a lot of sketchy off-road things. So <laughs> it'll be nice. It's that peace of mind. It's that extra added protection that is like one more thing between you and hitting the ground. So I'm excited about that. As far as comfort goes with this thing, it was really comfortable. Didn't really feel it. I had to take the insert out of the back of my jacket, so that was important. I think the leather jacket that I was wearing on the trip was too tight for this thing, honestly. So I need to think about that in the future. But at, for sure, anytime that even I'm commuting from here to work or going on a long road trip, I will always be wearing my airbag system now. I mean, it's just, it's something you don't think about. You don't think you need until you need it and you wish you had it, and I don't wanna be that guy. If you guys found this helpful or you like what we put out there, um, definitely subscribe, drop a comment. If you have any questions, drop us a comment or Google it first. That might be a better idea, but we'll try to get back to you with the answers. Um, we just took them for a spin, but there's a lot more technical stuff that you can find online, but feel free to drop a comment or let us know what else, what other gear you think we should be riding with. Yeah, we're looking to hear from you on what do you wanna see us trying out? What do you wanna know from us? Don't ask us to toss ourselves off of a bicycle or bike or whatever with one of these things on, although I did think about that. But anyway, make sure you like and subscribe because we are gonna have a ton of great stuff. If you're doing off-road, if you're doing off-the-grid camping, we're gonna have gear reviews and education and stuff that will be super helpful to you in the future. And that is, is the, the way, way we roam. <laughs>
done. Thanks for watching. This is the way we roll. This is the Alpine stars. Subscribe for more. <laughs>